Yo, what is up guys, Graham here, and in today's video we got a bit of drama in the house, so Grinding It Games has just released a new type of skin, they've released a Cursor MTX, as you can see in the background here, there's one for like Val, Mariketh, and uh, you know, there's like Jade ones and all sorts of stuff like that, and I kind of wanted to give you guys my, uh, my take, because it is a little bit of a unique one. Um, so of course Reddit's got the pitchforks out, they're not happy with this, uh, but we need to go over the um, the kind of uh, the argument that people are making. So, overall, uh, this hurts nobody. They didn't take away any functionality that's existing, uh, and they actually even offered players a, uh, a new cursor as an option uh, to the current one. Um, so right now, the cursor in PoE, the general consensus that is that it's it's very difficult to see, um, kind of uh, especially when there's a lot of action going on, you can't see your cursor. So a lot of players uh, use external programs um, to essentially modify their cursor in game and make it, you know, massive, or they make it big and like orange and or blinking or something like that, uh, or a massive circle. And you'll see a lot of streamers doing this so that you know they can see uh, where they're moving their cursor. I don't personally use this. I don't have any issues with the cursor. Um, you know, I've been playing games for a long time. It's just not an issue for me. Um, but, uh, you know, a lot of people did have this issue, and I imagine that the internal team at Grinding Your Games identified this as an issue with the game. Um, it's had the same cursor for many, many years now, I'm sure. Uh, and uh, I'm sure they were developing a cursor for PUE2, and I would have to imagine that the art guy um, or the design guy in charge of creating a cursor for PUE2 may have come up with a range of different curses uh, that, the, um, you know, that the creative director could choose from. Uh, and he probably showed these curses to the creative director and was like, here's what I've, here's what I've got. Uh, and I'm sure the discussion probably went a little bit like this. Obviously, I don't work for Grinding Gear Games, but I can't. But I see this happen all the time uh, in the business where I work at. So he probably saw all the curses and were like, oh man, these are great. Uh, you know, you really nailed it, man. These are going to be great for PoE 2. Um, maybe, uh, you know, since they're all so damn good, I really want to get all of them into the game. Uh, and I'm sure some business guy in a suit was sitting there too, I don't know, uh, and he was like, hey man, you know, we could offer one of these for free and sell the rest of them because, you know, you've done such good work, this could be another alternative revenue stream for us. Uh, again, of course, I don't work for Grinding Your Games, but I, I imagine that that is definitely a scenario that could have happened. I don't think that they were like scheming, cooking up, or oh, what can we do next? Uh, maybe that was the case, but in general, a lot of these um, business decisions don't happen quite like that. Behind the scenes, these are all humans. They're just doing their job. Um, they're not trying, they're not out to get anybody. This is a free to play game, and this is as far from pay to win as you can possibly get. Um, you know, a lot of people have got a lot of MTX for their character. Um, they don't need any more MTX for their character. So if Grinding Gear Games stops diversifying the, um, the offering they're having and the ways that they can be supported by their fans, you know, it's not going to work. Uh, they're not going to have um, a sustainable future as a company. Uh, overall, I'm not personally going to buy a, a mouse just Cursor, but you know, I sure as hell checked out the new one, uh, and that's pretty cool. You know, if if they had marketed the new cursor just by itself without bringing out the MTX, uh, I'm sure that overall the optics of this decision would have been far far more positive. Um, you know, they took the opportunity to release potentially um, a new form of revenue stream, and they're experimenting, man. And you know, if they fail, which they obviously have here, uh, maybe maybe it's not a failure actually behind the scenes. I have no idea what the sales numbers looks on this, but you know, overall, I think it's fine for a company to experiment. We should expect it, and we should welcome it because if a company doesn't experiment, they stagnate, uh, and overall, the product that they're pushing is just going to be boring. Uh, and there's a lot of examples of like of that in the industry and uh, in the gaming industry and abroad as well. So they're obviously experimenting with skins and monetization. Um, so I don't think they should be condemned for that. Uh, and overall, I think it's uh, kind of ridiculous, but you know, it is what it is. We live in an outrage culture. I'm sure that um, there'll be some outrage down below. But overall, if you if you want to support Grinding Gear Games and you want a shiny new cursor, which has obviously been created by some you know artist uh, and the theme of PoE, um, go for it. Support them. This is another uh, option that you can go down. You know, if you don't like it, don't buy it. And you can continue to use the external programs which help you enhance your mouse uh, overall, and um, it's kind of a take it or leave it situation, right? So I wouldn't uh, be too worried. If you love the game, keep playing, and if you like this kind of style of MTX, support the company with it. That's all there is to it. Until next time, cheers.